okay, to continue. In the motor test, um, it consists of a sheet of paper with a sample item and a four test items. Now, the examinees are first shown the sample item depicting a rectangle with two medium-sized dots uh, on either end. And then, a series of smaller dots connect the two medium-sized dots. And then, an instruction is given that reads like this. For each item, start with the largest figure. For each figure, draw a line connecting the dots without touching the borders. Do not leave the pencil, erase, or tilt the paper while drawing. Timing starts when the examinee begins the first design. It is recommended to discontinue the procedure and note the time after the examinee either finishes the procedure or after a maximum of 4 minutes has elapsed. Perception test um, has 10 designs, so each of which is followed by 4 designs. One of the four is identical to the original design, and the others are merely similar. So basically, perception test is about um, pointing out um, which card has the um, similar with other card. So in the manual, the question should be, which one of these pictures looks like this one? So the examiner needs to provide assistance to the examinee by pointing um, each of the design of the picture. Perception test should be timed and should not exceed um, if it's uh, 4 minutes already. So it means that if the examinee takes um, more than 30 seconds to give a response, to any of the item, the item should be discontinued and the examinee should be instructed to go next. Scoring for copy and recall test involves um, numbers from 0 to 4. 0 being no resemblance at all and 4 being nearly perfect um, resemblance. The scores will then be totaled. Um, higher scores indicating better performance. For um, clients who are below 8 years old, the range can be between 0 to 52 um, score. And then for clients who are 8 years old and up, the range can be 0 to 48. The row scores then converted to standard scores using age reference tables at the back of the manual. Scoring for motor test is um, one for um, if the line touches both the medium sized dots at the end of the design and it doesn't cross any of the borders. And if it extends, um, the score is zero, a total of 12 points in this um, test. For perception test, the score is 1 for each correct response and 0 for incorrect response. So a total of 10 points and then at the back of the observation form, um, motor test and percep perception test are converted to percentile rankings. Interpretation of perceptual versus motor difficulties. So this indicates the level of confidence, awareness of errors, completion time, and any comments that are made. So if the client uh, performs poorly in this um, test, the clinician can identify if it is the client has um, inadequate perception or inadequate in motor abilities, or the interplay of both. When it comes to copy versus recall performance, indicates good constructional abilities but possible problems with visual memory. The third and final aspect of Bender 2 interpretation is about casual patterns related to um, developmental delays, 
as well as brain dysfunction or emotional disturbance. Sometimes, a combination of these problems result to um, poor performance in the Bender Gestalt test. So, in our reference book, it is noted that results in Bender 2 directly correlates with Weschler block, block design subtest, as well as on other drawing tests such as drawing of clock, human figure, or bicycle. Okay, so let's move on to R bands or repeatable battery for the assessment of neuropsychological status. R bands is a relatively brief series of 12 subtests that is organized into five indexes. This test is proven to be sensitive to neuropsychological impairment. And then the up update version is an improvement to the previous norm, so which is um, it, it extended to adolescents as young as 12 years old. According to Randolph, Arbans was developed to serve as a standalone battery for identifying and describing dementia among elderly patients. However, um, it was found out that it can also be effective in a wider range of um, patients. Also, Arbans is um, an ideal instrument for non neuropsychologist because it is easy to learn and it is easy to administer and interpret. In fact, it has um, versions in Spanish as well as informal versions um, developed for Japan, France, and other countries. Arbans um, overall has sound psychometric properties with practice effect is largely absent. And then assets and limitations, um, it is easy to administer, score and interpret, as well as um, it is effective in a variety of clinical populations. So it is a very ideal um, screening instrument. So the interpretation of Arbans is similar to um, just like Westler Intelligence Scale and Bender 2, um, Arban's row score are translated into standard score with a mean of 100 and standard deviation of 15. Interpretation of score follows a three-step process. Level 1, or the total score, is the most and well-validated general measure of Arban's. Total score is used to mon monitor deterioration or improvement in the client's functioning, assuming the retesting indicates a significant large difference of generally 15 points or more. Level 2 um, analysis of index scores is about comparing and contrasting the five index scores to evaluate the examinee's strengths and weaknesses. So a good practice for a clinician here is to do um, two approaches, which is psychometric and the clinical um, qualitative approach. So this means that aside from the psychometric results or, of, or the test scores, um, the clinician must also check the um, family history, medical history, psychiatric history, um, family patterns of illnesses and other um, presenting problems and behavioral observations. And for level 3 interpretation, qualitative information, the 12 individual subtests comprising the Arbans have mean scores of 10 with standard deviations of 3, which can be considered to be a uh, qualitative information when combined with relevant history and behavioral observations. For urbans, the recommended good practice is to correlate um, test results in urbans with other tests that measures the same domain, as well as to integrate psychometric approach with 
clinical qualitative approach. So that ends my report for chapter 11 and 12, um, namely the Rorschach, Bender Gestalt, and Arbans. Thank you.